I'm Sophie Von On. Welcome. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to another revision vlog thing. It's been a while since I did one of these because it's been a while since I've um, needed to revise anything, but this time it is like my main project focus for this year. Project Glass. Let me actually get the draft. <laughs> Project Glass. If you're unaware, this story is about two sisters who live in this town which has been infected with this disease that physically changes humans into this like mindless creature that wanders in the forest and they're trying to escape that. And this is their story of dealing with it, trying to escape, and all that fun stuff. Right now it is very short. It is 62 pages and I am about halfway through with that at the moment. Okay, so I'm on chapter 12 of like 16. 16 plus an epilogue. 18 plus an epilogue. Whoops. I'm on 12 of 19. If you watched my plan for 2022, I'm supposed to be starting this new draft in this month. Um, so this vlog is going to be me finishing this up super quickly and then I'll probably have a reworking vlog and then we'll start drafting. As I have uh, done more than half of this off camera, I just wanted to share some, I guess, initial thoughts. Not really initial anymore since uh, we're halfway through, but thing is, especially with this story, like I thought Project What did pretty good conceptually, like I could keep a lot of it, a lot of the ideas and and move them into the next drafts and the execution didn't seem awful maybe i just wasn't as critical but <laughs> this one boy <laughs> like this whole story basically can stay for the most part i'm gonna have to do some reworking for like logical reasons like it's about a disease and the government isn't very involved and it made no sense anyways a lot of this is gonna stay it's just that the way it was executed in this draft is awful. It, it's just like, I'm reading it and I understand what potential it can have, but it really is not there yet. The foundation is here, so it could be worse, you know? This story has so much potential, it just sucks right now. Sad face. The concept is still very good, um, in my opinion. I haven't shared this with anyone else, so I guess I'll learn soon. But I just need to get through the rest so I can get familiar with this again and then we can get moving, but this is just going to be my revision vlog as I finish the next seven chapters. I guess I have to do that one too. Eight chapters? Eight chapters. I can't believe I had to count that on my fingers. <laughs> I just wanted to film that part. I'm probably not going to get to it today, unfortunately. Um, I have been doing a lot of it at school, that's why it's um, so beat up, because it's been thrown in my backpack for like weeks. Um, <laughs> so I just wanted to film this, this intro, the initial thoughts and everything, so we can get to finishing this, because originally when I wanted to film this, I was going to do finishing the rest of this in one night, and because it was a weekend, I think it was a Saturday or something, and I was like, yeah, I'm going to finish this in one night, and we'll be good to go, and for some reason that didn't end up happening. Wow, who's surprised? Hopefully soon I'll be able to do the let's finish it all tonight thing, but I'm pretty sure tonight's not the night. So I'll see you guys whenever that happens or whenever I have a little progress update. Hello, it's been a few days, I'm gonna be honest, but I am here to finish Project Glass. I am here. I read at school. I read like maybe four chapters today at school because I, I just had the time, I don't know why, but I did and basically at the climax now, so like it's gonna be done really soon, I have like four chapters left maybe, three or four, that's like ten pages, so I wanted to save it for now so I could film it because honestly I haven't filmed very much, so. All right, here she is, beaten up like crazy, sorry, like okay, like I was saying before, the execution in this story is not very good. And to be honest, it's not great. Like, look at this. Chapter 15 is literally two pages. That's the whole thing. Underwriting things, obviously they can be fixed, but I'm not gonna have to change an insane amount in this, which is just great because it makes my life easier. Oh my God, oh my God. I love these two characters so much and how they work together 
I guess how they work against each other for the most part, because, you know, sister things. <laughs> I almost cried at school, because I just love them, you know? It's not that emotional in the story yet, but, you know, the whole, I know how I want it to sound, so like, I project it onto the- you get it. I almost cried. <laughs> Anyways, I'm on chapter 16 of 19, 51 out of 62 pages, so about 10 pages left. I'm gonna get through this chapter, let my camera charge, and I will get back to you once I finish this next chapter. I'll just do chapter updates every time I get one done until I'm done. All right, chapter 16 is done. It's literally two and like a quarter pages, so. Wow. Also, I, I spilled some of my some of my coffee on it. But what I am finding with this is that the characterization, A1, it's great. That's usually what these zero drafts are for, actually. Fleshing up the characters. It's basically just a character outline with um, the occasional plot. This is my blueprint for my characters because I don't plot out my characters before this. Um, before zero drafts. Especially not before this one. And it's really coming out in this one. Like, they have the older sister, younger sister dynamic. They're only like a year apart, but like they have that where like the older sister's supposed to be like the one who carries all the burdens, who breaks all the bad news to the younger sister or something, you know? And the younger sister has always been the one to mediate the older sister, make sure she stays calm even if she's directing it kind of in the background, not really actually directing it, but kind of like making sure she stays calm. But in this chapter, their roles kind of switched. Actually, not just this chapter. This and like the previous chapter, their roles have like switched in a sense, where the younger sister was the one to like drop this huge realization on the older sister who should have known how this whole event would have gone down, but she didn't and she's now mad at herself and her younger sister for being the one to figure that out first. And then once this event has completed itself and, you know, resolving it. The older sister is the one to, like, shut everything down because the younger sister wants to keep arguing and talking about it, and the younger sister's like, huh, typically my job, but okay. Anyways, that's all I really wanted to say on that one. I am loving these characters. I love them so much. And their little dynamic. That's, like, my favorite thing to write, so, I mean, at least I think I'm good at it. <laughs> Anyways, it is time for chapter 17. This one is three pages long again. I think they're all... Oh, this one's a little longer. Four pages. Okay, cute. Anyways, three pages. Cool. Maybe I won't spill coffee on it this time. God. All right, chapter 17 is done. I put a lot of hearts around because... Because, well, I can. It's a very... It's, it's sweet again right now before they embark on their final journey because we are at the last chapter before the epilogue which is um two pages long so you know kind of cute but chapter 18 the final numbered chapter oh and i didn't spill any coffee on this one isn't that great anyways i don't have much to say about this chapter um except the hearts and that there's actually a line in here that I want to keep. <laughs> so, wow. Zero draft me. Actually writing a good sentence? Unheard of. Honestly, unheard of. All right, that is another chapter done. Um, I, I had to tape this on because apparently I didn't tape it when I bound all these pages together originally. I don't know what happened. Elongate or delete. That's a whole scene right there. That's the whole scene. This great plot device, the rain with the monsters who don't like the rain so they hide in the forest. Characters are gonna have to go through the forest today. Like, they don't have a choice. They have to go today. But it's raining out, and when it's raining out, the creatures in this story go into the forest. And to get to the exit of this town, to get to the bus stop, they have to go through the forest. So, you know, predicaments. Uh-oh. Great job, me. I saw this and I was like, Okay, it's raining. Who cares? Why am I saying that? And then I remembered these these creatures don't like the rain. I forgot about my own world building. It's fine. Okay, anyways, this, I, I actually put a change in. Wow. Also, sentences that make no sense. That's why it's in red. When I first revised this story, I knew it made no sense, so I 
you know, it still doesn't make any sense to me. I'm the one who wrote it and it makes no sense. It's awesome. I love zero drafting. <laughs> and then finally, just screaming. Anyways, epilogue time because this is a standalone story. So it's chapter one and it has an epilogue. I think this sums it up pretty good. Um, this is actual genuine notes, right? Then we have hearts. Then we have my queens underlined and then praise be the Collins sisters because that's who they are. Huh, <laughs> it is done. There's some important notes down here that I starred. How everything worked out. Um, probably need to introduce it better, but the basics are there, so cool. Then some more notes just for logical reasons because my one character is going into journalism like their mother. So she's taking like writing classes but it's not supposed to be a creative writing class, and that's what it sounds like, so I'm just specifying here for me. This is for um, the last line right here. Um, it's like one of my favorites. It's just so full circle, I guess. Um, but I really only mention this one habit once in the story, and um, I need to mention it more, because if that's gonna be the last line, I can't just have it mentioned offhandedly once and then make it come back as literally the closing statement for this entire book. Speaking of which, this entire book is 62 pages right now. My queens, praise be the Collins sisters. That's that's the moral of this story, I guess. Speaking of which, if you want to see what they look like, I have speed paints where I actually painted them traditionally, like on paper. Like, I know, it's not a digital speed paint, it's an actual time lapse of me drawing and painting them. It was great. I love those drawings still. And I'm also going to be drawing them in a series that I'll have out probably the end of next month. Link in the description to my art Instagram. I'll be posting all of the finished pieces on there before the final video um, if you just want to see those. But that is basically it for this. I am so excited to start actually drafting this again. Of course, I do still need to replot it and everything, but the story is back in my head, so that is what counts. This was such a fun read, too. Like, it's a mess, um, especially in the middle, because fun and games, man, it is a trip. But it's just very fun to read my, like, the sibling dynamic thing, uh, because I don't write a lot of siblings that are the main characters. I am also... Oh, I'm so ready to start writing these two again because... Oh, okay, I also started making a playlist for this story last night um, because my friend sent me a song and I was like, this sounds like Project Glass right here. And then I was like, okay, guess I gotta make a whole playlist now. So I've just been adding songs to it. Like, I like to put the songs in order of the plot of the story and I haven't done that yet. It's just like 13 songs right now <laughs> that are like oh, this feels like the younger sister, or this feels like the older sister, or this feels like the setting or something. So I gotta find a place for all those, but I do have a playlist now. <laughs> so we're getting into motion. I can listen to that while I'm trying to figure this story out. Like I listen to my Project What playlist when I'm trying to work on that one. <laughs> Hopefully I'll have some videos out for that soon as well, because I love that project. Anyways, that is it for this video. I will have a video out later, probably halfway through February, um, doing the same thing but with my fantasy story because I have two of those books drafted, zero drafts, and I want to document the same sort of thing, see how the two differ because, you know, this is a urban fantasy. We're technically on Earth still, um, but Project Quest is a full-on non-earth fantasy, so it's gonna be a little different. Anyways, I think I have rambled enough. Hopefully, any of that made sense. I will see you later for the continuation of this story, the reading of my fantasy, and all my other projects and all the fun things that happened with those. Thanks so much for watching. Thanks for being here. Thanks for hanging out. How is writing going for you? I haven't done a big writing vlog in a while, uh, mostly because writing has not been happening, but hopefully it has for you. Tell me in the comments. <laughs> Anyways, yes, I hope to see you in the next one. Peace. Wow.